Hi everyone, I'm Rochelle, the mother of the mother-daughter owners of Godiva's Secret Wigs. And today I'm going to talk specifically about one wig, Alana wig, or any wig that the hair is falling in your face. And what the heck do you do about it? So let me just prepare my hair. I wanted to show you the first things you do when you receive a wig like Alana. So I just grabbed Marble Brown H from our stock and the first thing it comes to you folded inside out. So open it up. Here's the front and what I do first with any new wig is I am brushing it straight back. So I'm holding it. Here is the forehead, the front. And I'm just brushing it straight back. That's going to make a difference for you right away. Then I'm going to hold the back just like we show you. Put your thumbs right on these elastic sizers, one on each side, right here and dip your head in. I'm just tucking my hair in in the back. So if you're new to wigs, this is a great little instructional video of what to do. So first, it's looking like this. Now, make sure your hands are clean and they don't have your dirts and oils from your makeup because you want to keep your wig clean. So from here, obviously, it's not right. So I'm just moving the hair away and the first thing is you want it up at your hair line. Okay, if you have it too short, that's not going to look real. So always make sure that it's up at your hair line. And then there are curvy little tabs on each side. Make sure, hold each of the tabs and make sure they're even. See, you can move your wig. So now I know that the tabs are right here and right here, completely even. So first you want the wig at your hairline, make sure the tabs are even, and now let's talk about Alana. So with Alana or any new wig, the first thing that I love to do is try it every which way. I want to see how the bang falls or the hair falls if it has no bang. And I'm going to trim bangs on this too in this video so you will see that as well. So sometime I'll put a little hair behind. Right now I'm just connecting with the wig. But I'm not bringing it down, down. If you see, I'm always going kind of up and back. So I'm already starting to train it not to fall in my face. So I kind of like that. What do you think? It's cute. It's, Alana is a fabulous wig. And I know some of you are calling in. You're a little lost with what to do with this hair right here. So my easiest tip, and it makes so much sense and you're going to love it, is to simply back comb this hair to some hair that's further behind. So first I'm going to just use my fingers and kind of have it where I want. Let's say I want it like this. I'm going to take this hair that's typically falling down and grab some hair on the side and backcomb it together. Now look already what happened. I did that in about three little baby teases. So you could start up higher, but you're just going back, back, back just a little bit and then use your brush to smooth that out. Pretty good tip, huh? So look, so there are other things you can do, but that's, that is number one. If this is falling in your face, this hair, let's just also try it to the side. I can back comb it. Again, choose the hair on the side back comb it together. Now look.
Let me do this side too so you can see. Take this hair, touch the side hair, back comb them together and then smooth it out so you don't see it too much. It's kind of like teasing, teasing a wig. So now look. It's a great little trick, all right? Another thing you can do, I'm going to just brush the back combing out. Just to show you if you're lost, so we're back like this again, is I can take some of this hair hold it right in front of my ear and take the little excess length of it, put it behind my ear. So now I have it out of my face. I can do it over here too. So watch, taking this little piece, it's not very long, but long enough and under. And I like it a little longer right there. So it just covers my temple hair. So look at this, another way that you can wear Alana and not be, oh, hair in my face, not be stressed out about the bang. So look, nothing great. I love it. And I really like it like this too. So look, for some of you, you want to wear it all behind your ears. Let me just show you the back because if you've never seen Alana, she is a sweetie pie. Okay, so if you have an Alana or a wig that's falling in your face, follow me, let's do it again. So I'm just going to even smooth this out, take that hair, sweep it behind my ear, right behind my ear. And then if I want, I can pull some hair in front of it and it looks so natural, doesn't it? Let me do it here again, slow motion. So it's really just the playing with a wig, but that is another way you can do it. Something else and a few other different looks, I love to take some of this hair and pull it up and back. Now, if you have hair that's matching the color of the wig that you've purchased, pull out a little of your hair around. So this isn't my match, but I just want you to see exactly what I'm doing. I'm pulling it out. Now I can actually brush it up and over. Can you see what just happened right there? Even though I am a blonde, it, it it actually works because there are blonde streaks in here. So let's say you want your Alana completely off your forehead. If the hair matches, pull just a little bit with the edge of your teasing brush, your wire brush, and or any brush or comb, and just sweep it back. Look at that. I'm going to do a little bit here. It's, it's okay. You can, you know, this is just practicing and playing. So I can take a little bit, and I could even put a really sweet little clip right here. I don't have a baby one with me, but you get the idea. See that? Now you can't even see the that Alana is a wig at all. No way. Okay. So if you are going to pull your hair over it, you might feel that the wig is starting to slip. I would suggest that you sew in two metal clips at the hairline. And before you secure the clips, lock, before you lock the clips in, first pull out the hair that you want to have. Because once you've locked the clips in, the hair underneath is also locked in those clips. So if you're going to pull some out, you know, when you're just playing, just, just play and don't worry about it. But I'm always thinking about security too. So let's say you want to wear it in a, with a clip. You want it completely out of your face.
Okay, you can do that. Look at the back. Pretty sweet look. And you could always pull a couple of little wispies. Just a few. So that's another little thing that you could do. Now, now that I pulled this out, the wig is back further, so I'm going to put it on again. Without pulling any of my hair out. We always remember up at the hairline. If you don't have hair, you will see a line there. So that is the most natural place for the wig to be. So let's see, the little teasing and plain I've done, it's still not falling in my face. So what I would do, if I were you, you want it out of your face, do a little back combing, then take a spritz of our low alcohol, keep it there, hairspray. It's fantastic. I use it on my own hair because who needs all that drying alcohol on our own hair or our wigs or pieces? So there's a couple ways that I use this to keep this hair from falling and I do it all the time. One, simplest, I'll put a little spritz on my fingers and then just graze it over. Because Keep It There hairspray has low alcohol, that means it has more water. So it takes a moment to dry. It's not an immediate thing. Give it, give it 30 seconds, and I love to fan it if I'm in a rush, which I always am. So I will fan it, but once you get it where you want, while it's kind of damp, you just spritzed it, take your hands off. Because if you keep playing while it's drying, then it's not going to work as well. So have it where you want it, spritz it on your fingers, or if you're the kind you want to give a little spritz all over, you don't have to be afraid with keep it there. Okay, so look, it's like magic. Now, let's say you want some bangs. So, for Alana, and I'm going to trim this and then we'll put it on sale afterwards because none of our brand new pieces are touched in any way. So first I'm gonna just tease this hair back and I'm starting with just some little wispies. Where I like to start is right between my eyebrows because that's an important length for me. So I know I don't want it you know, down to here. So I'm just going to get this unnecessary hair out of the way. Was, wasn't scary. Remember, you're not pulling down. If you pull down and cut, see how that hair pops right up, especially at a shorter length. So just hold it. Clip it. Get rid of some of that longer length. I do this in my mirror all the time, and many of you I know trim your own bangs. So right now, I'm not pulling down. See, I'm not straightening that out. I'm letting it stay to that little roundness that it has, and I'm just now just taking some little cutting points, working my way up. I'll take this long piece away for the moment. You see how it's still too long, and I know some of you, you want this hair in your eyes. And that's fine, but no, if it gets in your eyes, it can bother you. So I'm just taking a little look-see for a minute here. So I'm going to take it a little shorter still.
You can always take this to a hairdresser. I like to thin this down just a little bit. So I'm still going to take it a little bit shorter just so you can really see. I, I would not wear my bangs like that because I feel them all in my eyes. So the goal is to trim so it looks like you almost need a haircut, but not quite. So I'm just going to take these little hairs still shorter for me. And I have a tall, pretty big forehead, so whoever purchases this wig, you still might need to do a little trimming. And if you can see, I go very, very carefully. I do just a little bit more. So I never cut a wig on a head because I don't know the size of the forehead and I want to see it on me. I'm playing with it, trying different things to see what I like. I'm going to take this a little shorter to balance this out a little bit. I normally like to leave this long, so if you go to somebody, I wouldn't be quick to take this. If you want to open up your eyes, if it's, if it's too much, so let me just do it a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit more. Just in, I'm just in line with the hair that I just cut. And what you can do also sometimes is back it up just barely a touch. See, it's not in my eyes anymore. Do you see that? Now, really cute, here's Alana with bangs. Can I change the part? Let's see. I don't see why not. It's cute. But this is the way I normally go. And when you're putting a wig on with bangs, just move that long hair out of the way and then play with those bangs. So, is it in my face now? Would that be okay with you? If it is, find a hairdresser or a girlfriend or watch this tutorial or Danielle has tutorials on trimming bangs. Out of our 500 videos, I hope you're going to subscribe because Danielle and I share so many secrets nobody else shares. I'm not sure why, but maybe it's because I've been wearing wigs for 45 years, so I feel, I feel like I'm somewhat an expert. So there you go. I hope that helps you with Alana or any wig. And hey, one last thing. So pull up here if you like. Now that you have bangs or even without, say you want to take a little of this hair away from your face. just showing you again what you can do. How's that for a cute look? So there you go. Thank you for watching and please share us, subscribe to all of our videos, and we will talk again soon, okay? And let me know if this works for you. We really want to know, okay?